I came to drop off a week's worth of compost. Alex Herzen and Margaret Stalker are just two of many New York residents doing their part to give back to the environment here on the Upper West Side. I just emptied two bags here, and that's just me. So it's very important to keep it out of the landfill and to be responsible citizens. It's one of 50 drop-off sites across the five boroughs and is part of Grow NYC's Zero Waste program. The initiative began 15 years ago and led to the nonprofit establishing this compost program in 2011. Over the years, they've managed to transform communities and empower New Yorkers to safeguard our planet for future generations. We collect fruit scraps, fruit and veggie scraps, uh, the only animal product that we accept are eggshells and then coffee grounds, tea bags, uh, little spent flowers like we have here at the bends, and we also collect yard waste. Yeah, I think it's very important to set a good example. Um, we try to do conservation activities as much as possible. What did you bring today? Uh, this is an egg carton. Uh -huh. so. Whenever we finish the eggs, we give it back to the person who we get eggs from. Just last year alone, Grow NYC collected 2.3 million food scraps and distributed 54,000 pounds of finished compost that went into beautifying parks, gardens, and playgrounds across the city. And today, the organization is celebrating an important milestone. They've collected 20 million pounds of food scraps. We are extremely proud of the work that we are doing. Um, we're all very, this is mission driven. Dropping off is simple. All you have to do is place your scraps in a reusable bag or container. In this case, I'm using a compostable bag. You empty the contents and Grow NYC will do the rest. The waste gets picked up at the end of the day and brought to a local facility where it's turned into compost and redistributed throughout New York City communities. To learn more about the program and drop-off locations, visit our website, pix11.com. On the Upper West Side, Stacey Ann Gooden, Pix11 News.